so here's my question. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, I have students um, that I teach in West Philadelphia, I teach at all boys school, and we're talking like inner city Philadelphia, and um, you know, I'm going to show them this feed, and what I would love to show them is you giving them some advice as to what to do after high school if they don't want to go to college, um, because coming from me, it's like yeah, you're you know, a teacher. The you're the teacher over and over again. Yeah, I'm a teacher. I teach ninth. I teach ninth grade literature. I actually, um, I hit you up on Twitter a while ago when you were looking for a oh school schools to, to come. I actually, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Do we yeah, have yeah, one? So right. I was going back and forth with Alex. Go ahead. Okay. So, so what could you speak to to my students to kind of give them? <sighs> Something to, you know, that they're not just hearing me, but they're, they know who you are. We watch your videos in class. Um, they keep a- asking me, like, they're like, uh, you know, like, so, like, I, I'm always giving them your information and, and telling them what, what I think you would say, but I would love for you to speak to them directly if you could. I could. Now, like, give me, help me a little bit here, because the truth is, let's start from the top, and I'm talking to the class now, and you can clip this. We'll even send you a clip. Yep. Got it, Tyler? We'll send you, you we'll send you this clip. First of all, how many are there? I have, uh, this graduating class is about 100 students. Right, so for the 100 of you, you're all different. Like, my, if you don't want to go to college, if, if, if you want to figure out what to do, all of you are different. Some of you can sing, some of you are, 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 are math based and you could be analytical. There's a million things you could do. Obviously it's crazy that we got you on this show because of Mission U so you gotta go check that out. There's a million things that I could tell you. Here's the one thing I can promise you. You need to work your fucking face off and nobody gives a shit about where you grew up. Like like this, no, like nobody's gonna feel sorry for you circumstantially or feel positive for you. Like whether you're born in the ghetto or you're born to a trust fund At the end of the day, once you hit the real world, nobody cares, because then the clock's on. If you're a trust fund baby, people are judging you, like you suck, it's all because you're daddy. If you're fucking from the ghetto, it's like you have no shot, you don't look the part. Either way, nobody cares. The end, the only thing that you should be figuring out is what are you good at, and so you should try a lot of shit, Uh right? And then you need to work every minute. Like, Like if you're not gonna go to college, you're gonna have to work, right? Like if, if you're not gonna use the brand of the degree and before Mission U means something to the whole world, you're gonna have to work and prove it and nobody's gonna feel bad that you're working two jobs or that you're not, you don't have no time to hang out anymore. See, you know this, look, these kids, they're young. When you're young, I was, we're all, we've all been young. The biggest thing that's going on is it's all the same advice over and over. You have to work your brains out and you have to realize nobody cares about you. And once you go into that place and you're super solo, then you have a prayer. But for any second that you think somebody's gonna save you, Bernie Sanders, Donald Trump, the government, your sister, the people that feel bad for you, like nobody gives a fuck. Do they understand that, Siege? I'm asking you, I'm asking you. You know, so I I hear you, and so that, Unfortunately, I think that that only comes, that understanding comes with doing, right? With like. It's the Mike Tyson thing, right? And as soon as you get actually yeah, punched yeah. in the so mouth, like, then you're like, oh. Exactly, and so a lot of my guys have been, have been literally punched in the mouth many times in their lives, and so it's about like helping them to see that there's, that there's kind of more to themselves or that there's, they have more to offer then um, you know, they've kind of been beaten down already and some guys seem a little bit, uh, you know, like they have. It's they lack, ho- it's you, you, is, it, is, is what, it's just, on. do they have the chip on their shoulder that somebody owes them something because it was fucked up or do they have no self esteem because everybody told them they can't win? Both, you know, it's a, it's a both That's thing. That's exactly and right. So when we're talking about boys, so it's an all boys school where, you know, 90% of my guys don't have a dad at home, which, yep. makes, which literally it makes my job easier because you know you're a guy that shows up every day and tells kids that you love them and that you see them and that they're not invisible. Um, but it's me doing that with my with my my crew at school over and over and over again. And so for like the you know uh, Akil Danzlers and the Elijah Goodwins and the you know. Mark Slaughter's like, and I'm so I'm shouting them out because they're going to go, oh shit, Reynolds, you just said my name on the internet. Um, so, <laughs> hey Reynolds, can I ask you a question? If I paid for the bus, like I know schools are fucked up, so they can't take advantage. But if I paid for the bus, can you bring like eight or nine of them up here and hang with me for an hour? 
I'll go. I will be up there this afternoon if you pay for the bus. That's what I'm. Cool. That's what I'm do. So cool. So, Send an email to Gary at VaynerMedia. I'm gonna pay for the bus. You're gonna come up here. We're gonna film it. Cause then I'll get into real deal. I don't want to be the guy who's just shouting to a hundred people without context. Let's take eight or nine nope. of them, do some fucking contest. Let's do it. Reynolds, do whatever the fuck you got to do to get pick eight or nine of them. Bring them up here. We'll jam with them. We'll film that, and then you can use it because they look the part of the other ninety and the hundred next year and the hundred next year. And 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 I knew the answer to your to my question was both, right? Here's the problem, and this is yeah. for everybody. This is not just inner city kids. This is for everybody. Johnny, Texas, you know, Rick, Oklahoma, and Pam, Peru. <laughs> the the bottom line is, it's one of the two opposite things. Either you have a chip on your shoulder and you think the world fucked you and you're unlucky, or you've actually been suppressed and told you can't, right? in a different way than that. Yep. It's, not yep. the, it's not the circumstance, it's the verbiage. You actually have parents, they just suck. Mm. Right, they just, they're in pain so they don't want you to succeed. Misery loves company. It all ends up in yeah. the same place, Reynolds, which is, it doesn't matter. And that's what I want these kids to understand. It just doesn't matter. Because once yep. you get on the field, it's just the field. And so the quicker you can make that mind shift, <laughs> And then the other thing that none of us realize is how much time you have. Yeah. Like if I knew yeah. as an 18 year old, I did and that's why I won, but I didn't even know to the extreme. The biggest thing I'm gonna do with those eight or nine kids, Reynolds, is I'm gonna make them understand they just have to put their head down for 15 years. And think about when you're 18, what 15 years sounds like, yeah. right? It's nothing. forever, it's, it, well it's right, nothing to us like as we get older. You're when you're 18, fi- dude I'll be honest with you, 15 years feels even a little bit long to yeah. me right now and I'm 41. When you're 18, 15 years is your whole fucking life. When you tell them, eat yeah. shit for 15 years, you'll be 33, a child, mm-hmm. and you can then go win, yeah. that fucks with you if I can break through and get them to understand. Yeah. I mean, the, yeah. the, the only other thing, this is Adam, the only thing I'll, I'll add in, and I, I think, one, I mean, it's amazing that Gary's gonna bring these kids up here and I will absolutely be watching that session that you have with them. But the thing that I've seen is, and this is the one thing that as a teacher I think you can most instill in kids is that you become your expectations. And people find their expectations, sometimes externally, sometimes internally, sometimes it's a parent or a coach or a teacher or a mentor that helps you understand your self-expectation. Other people are just intrinsically born with this belief that they're gonna go do something great, but you become your expectations. And so every one of those kids, regardless of their situation today, if they can redefine the expectation for their future, then that creates the underlying motivation to bust ass for the next 15 years. But if they don't have the expectation of the outcome in the future and they don't hold themselves accountable accountable to it, then they won't get to that place. If they understood the man that's holding them down is in their fucking dome, everything would change. True, yes, I love it. So, hey listen, can I shout one thing out real quick? Yep. So Mike, if if people want to check out my guys, I I have a YouTube site called Go Rap with the Go. which is, um, I, I post teacher videos, like how people that teach in the inner city should stop going there for two years to like, do their good deed and then move on, but they should like go there and stay and this is how you can stay and like how you can just keep crushing it every year, year after year, um, no matter what the kids bring in with them, that you're like helping them and loving them and What's the name of the video series again? Visible. What's the name again? It's called, Re- it's called Real Rap with the Reynolds. Real so Rap be- with the Reynolds. Yep. Good, we'll, we'll, we'll put it yep. here. Reynolds, I can't wait to fucking see you. You better get your ass here soon. Dude, the season's almost over. The best, man. I'll see you soon. I'll see you next week. Let's figure it out. See ya.